Hey guys, welcome to the clubhouse. I'm Billy Jackson. This is my cat, Tack. And today starts my top 10 list of Stephen King movies. You asked for it, you got it. And my number 10 pick is Cat's Eye. Now I love this movie. Um, one reason is it's an anthology film, which I love anthology films. And if, for those of you who doesn't who don't know what that means, that it's their movies that have multiple stories in them, um, like Tales from the Crypt, uh, stuff like that. But anyway, Trilogy of Terror. I love this one is my favorite anthology because each of the stories is just really awesome um, and not a lot of people know about this movie it kind of flew under the radar um, but it was actually I think after E.T. and before Firestarter I think that this was Drew Barrymore's one of her first roles in film and you know the the first one the first little story short story is about a man trying to quit smoking he goes to this place that's supposed to help him and they promise to help him but they also promise we'll put your wife in this elect electric box and electrocute her if you don't quit it, it comes to that no, no, needless to say that they you know get him to quit and uh, just what happens to him while he's quitting is it's all it's funny and horrifying of these people you know chasing you down and watching you they're they're like they like hide in his house and watch him and see if he smokes and if he does he's gonna hurt somebody that he loves or or him but um, anyway then there's the next one that's kind of the um, they're in Vegas and a guy um, loses a bet and the guy says you know you know you can't pay the money so he tells him well if you can walk around the edge of this building this tall building and walk on the ledge around this building then you don't have to pay it back and the guy thinks it's easy enough and then horror ensues because it's terrifying I mean I'm afraid of heights I've been skydiving three times but I'm, I'm terrified of like looking over a building and doing it 10,000 feet I'm good but a hundred feet and I'm like oh my god but anyway so it, it, it inherently scared me just because of him being on the edge of the building then on top of that you know you got pigeons that are flying and pecking at his toes while he's trying to walk around and this guy's like torturing him shooting water hoses at him and stuff you know trying to get him to fall off but I'm not gonna spoil it for you but the way that ends that story ends is fabulous um, then the third one is my favorite one about the little troll that lives in Drew Barrymore's wall and comes out and tries to steal her breath and you know it's a popular myth that cats would steal your children's breath because they sat on your chest you know but of course we all know that that's so they can feel your heartbeat um, Tack lays on my chest all the time and uh, he loves it but anyway um, you know and her, she tries to tell her parents about it and of course they don't believe her you know a troll in the in the wall yeah right but this cat is going through all these to make a long story short this cat is going through all these stories and it's kind of through his eyes he's seeing all this stuff happening to all these people and like Drew Barrymore is like summoning her in, in, in visions that the cat's happy having so he's trying to get to her and that's how he goes through all these stories and um, at the beginning I, I know I'm, I'm kind of jumping off the third um, story a little bit but in the beginning I love the beginning of this because the cat's wandering through the streets and he sees um, Christine the car from Christine drive by and you know he gets chased by Cujo and there's just nods to all of his films up until then you know th there's their scene in the beginning of this movie but anyway back to the um, the third story you know the cat is like being summoned by Drew Barrymore's character because she's being hunted by this troll and her parents don't believe her so she needs a protector so she the cat gets to her and ends up the cat protecting her from the troll and the troll and him fight and everything and I'm not gonna tell you what happens but it is awesome how this story um, ends you know I, just a long story short that the parents realized what that there was a real troll in the house and how it's revealed is awesome but I love this movie I love movies like this you know they have multiple stories you know it's kind of makes the pacing of the movie go by pretty quick so it's uh, it's not a long movie and it doesn't feel like a long movie it's just an enjoyable watch not the best of Stephen King of course that's why it's on my top t I mean on my number 10 which there's 60 Stephen King movies so number 10 is pretty high but it's low as far as the 10 scale goes 
But it's still a great movie. Think you'd enjoy it. So give it a try. Alright guys, so what do you think? Have you seen Cat's Eye? Let me know in the comments below. Do you like this movie? I want to know. And uh, remember to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. And guys, always keep in mind to make yourself happy every day. And the only way to do that is to remember the only thing stopping you is you stopping. BAM! Ah!